So now the topic is emulsifying agents. We have see what are what is the importance of emulsifying agent means this emulsifying agent reduces the interfacial tension in the emulsion. Thereby, thereby this emulsifying agent makes that thermodynamically unstable system into the thermodynamically stable system. <coughs> so these are mainly three types: surfactants, film forming polymers. These are hydrophilic in nature means hydrophilic polymers we are using in the film forming polymers next one is solid particles next one is solid particles so under the surfactants just surfactants when what happens in this will act means chemical interaction means this will see the polar group is towards water and the lipophilic group is towards the oil by chemical interaction by chemical interaction this will stabilize this emulsion, oil in water or water in oil type of emulsion. <clears throat> the surfactant stabilized by chemical interaction. What is the mechanism? It means chemical interaction. Examples. In order to stabilize the oil in water type of oil in water type of emulsion, we need soap and detergents. We already discussed it initially. Soaps and detergents are hydrophilic in nature. Hydrophilic nature. When these are hydrophilic in nature, we are using this to the system which is containing water. Means dispersion medium or continuous when the continuous medium is water, then we are using soaps and detergents because soap and detergents are water hydrophilic, water soluble. If the emulsion is water in oil, if the continuation phase, if the continuous phase is oil, then we are using spam. Lipophilic nature, spana lipophilic nature. Spana lipophilic nature. Hence we are using it. the continuous medium that is containing the oil. Mechanism completed. Mechanism types of emulsion, types of emulsifying agent. Next one is film form forming polymer. Majorly hydrophilic polymers. This polymer, see these are the polymers. These are the polymers. These are arranged in layer. These are arranged in layer. So this is first layer. This is second layer. This is third. This is fourth layer. That multi-layered surfactants are just only one surfactant. Only one surfactant. Only one. Only one. Mono-layered. 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 Here multi-layered. Multi-layered. One, two, three, four, so on. Means multi-layered arrangement of layer. Hydrophilic polymers on the oil, then we can call it as a, on the dispersed phase, then we can call it as a multi layered arrangement of film forming poly polymers. So, these are majorly used. What <coughs> these are hydrophilic, na? these are hydrophilic, so water loving polymers. So, these water loving polymers we can use in the system, the continuous phase, when the continuous phase is water, then we can use the hydrophilic polymers. Example, Acacia Gelatin Triagathan. Acacia Gelatin Triagathan. Next. <coughs> See, these polymers, whatever the polymers we are using, these polymers are less, less toxic than surfactants. These polymers are less toxic. Less toxic than surfactants. Everyone try to remember this. Polymers are less toxic than surfactants. Next, what is the mechanism? Means physical barrier. See, these are not interacting with oil or water. These are just absorbable. Means absorption phenomena, physical absorption, physorption or physical absorption. Just absorption on the surface of dispersed phase. Thereby, these are acting as a film forming polymers in order to stabilize the emulsions. What is the mechanism? Physical barrier. Physical barrier. Polymers are less toxic than surfactants. Hydrophilic polymers used in case of water type of emulsion, oil in water kind of emulsion, but not water in oil, oil type of emulsion only. When the water is continuous phase, then we can use hydrophilic polymers. This is about film forming polymers. Next one is solid particles. Next one is solid particles. See solid particles, these are the solid particles absorbed. Solid particles absorbed on dispersed phase. Absorbed on dispersed phase. Solid particles are absorbed on the dispersed phase. 
and the solid particles are wetted means wetted by the solvent film the particles are wetted by solvent film solvent and dispersion medium the solid particles are wetted by the dispersion medium c wetted by the dispersion medium <coughs> this is about solid particles so on what type of emulsion emulsions are made with two types so for what type of emulsion what we can use what type of emulsify what type of solid particles we can use see if if water is continuous phase then we can use bentonite to weak gum aluminum hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide when the when the emulsion is water in oil water when the emulsion is water in oil means here continuous phase is oil oil means lipophilic carbon carbon also lipophilic nature hence we are using carbon black in case of water in oil type of emulsion we are using carbon black in case of water in oil type of emulsion for oil in water type of emulsion what we are using in the continuous phase is water we are using bentonite to become aluminum hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide when the continuous phase is oil then we are using carbon carbon is lipophilic oil also lipophilic next what is the mechanism means physical barrier like just absorption on the solid part just absorption on the dispersed phase absorption on the dispersed phase physical barrier next where what is the major application where we use where we can use the solid particles as a emulsifying agent where we can use the solid particles as a emulsifying agent means in case of sunscreen sunscreen lotions sunscreen lotions in case of sunscreens major application this is major application we are using solid particles as a emulsifying agent in sunscreen in sunscreen this is about the different kinds of emulsifying agent we are using in order to stabilize the emulsion like surfactants film forming polymers and solid particles